Howdy everyone, welcome back to a new YouTube video. Today we're at the Crown Land Trail. And uh, I think it's in Willowwood. But uh, yeah, we're going to start this adventure strong and see what kind of trails we come up with. Apparently it's about 6 kilometer hike and you can't do any targeted shooting. And it says on the sign here, motorized vehicles, littering camps, and all that other fun standard stuff. So here's a picture of the sign, and yeah, it's apparently a pretty long trip, which is excellent, because that's what we wanted. So, so far, there's a lot of people here, and with all this COVID stuff going around, I already kind of don't like it. You know, it looks like a neat trail, but ugh, people come up trailing to avoid people. And I came out on a Monday morning when there shouldn't be any people at all. All these people should be working, right? Ha! COVID. Apparently nobody's working in Canada. But uh, hey, we're going to look at the positive side. And we're going to see what kind of cool things we can find. And um, yeah, see what kind of unique things. That it's a little bit different than other trails. Oh, I already see something that we're going to come out to. So you can see it's just your standard trail so far. It's got a pretty steep hill coming up. But we also got what appears to be a pretty awesome looking tree. And of course we just take some pictures to put on Instagram. Well, that was a very pretty tree and uh, yeah it looks like there's quite a few neat paths and uh, we got one path here one path there and here so I think we're gonna try this path first oh might not be a path but uh, yeah apparently we were fooled but that's okay we'll just Keep going, keep going. Very pretty area. Pretty area. Lots and lots of woodland. Not a lot of people. Just for me, huge bonus. Oh, there's a keep out sign. But uh, yeah, no reason to go up there. But uh, yeah, it seems like they got some little additional trails like here just follow up if you want to go a little higher in altitude and we definitely like going on those and uh yeah so far it's a beautiful spot very peaceful and oh boy oh boy i smell cinnamon buns that's a problem i think all you dog lovers are gonna like this look where i found cute little stuffed looks like a pug some sort but uh yeah, that's our first find of the day if you don't count the tree to me i count the tree very very pretty tree and here's a little picturesque view of where we came from a very nice trail somebody spent a lot of time on this trail but we definitely appreciate it so we're just gonna keep on hiking and boy oh boy i smell some cinnamon, cinnamon buns and it's killing me inside that I don't have any right now. I need bubbles to make some cinnamon buns and send them to me. That would be great. All right, folks. Well, if we were doing YouTube Live, which we will be, when we hit a thousand subscribers, uh, you'd have to help me out. Do we go A, spot, B, or C? And right now we don't know. So I think we gotta take C, see where it goes. I'm so interested, I've never been here before. It's about 20 minutes away from my little town. And boy oh boy, it's a perfect day for this. Not too hot, not too cold, no bugs. Perfect spring day. Boy oh boy, I'm glad I came here today. I was looking at quite a few other places, but um, this one seemed to be really good reviews 
If you guys are ever curious how I just try to choose what path I go to today, for the most part I'm trying to go to all of them, but I also want to go through ones that are interesting so I can bring you guys along and show you pretty trees and stuff that <laughs> animals left behind. But um, yeah, for the most part I've been to a lot of the places around me, but I've never been here. And that's what I'm trying to do, hit the places I've never been to. Um, but also hit the bangers of nice places for you guys to come to and uh, For the most part I go based on Google reviews and if the reviews are no good or there isn't any um, Then I try to avoid them, but if there are no reviews, I like to be able to do that on my own Sorry guys We're getting a lot of Different folks out here and then I have to stop filming because I shouldn't really film with other people involved. But yeah, we're <laughs> going down some interesting winding trails. We don't want to get lost and we don't know where we are. Two things right off the bat. So what I try to do is I try to navigate in my own head where I was, but then you have to do that all backwards, right? So it might be easy to say, oh, I've been on that trail, but they all look the same. So what you could do is you could take a leaf, this is a bad example, but you could take a marker and you can mark off a few trees. So you know that that distinguishing marker that has to be unique and not the same as a trail. Um, this way you know where you've been and where you need to come back. Um, for me, I don't kind of mind getting lost because the more you get lost, the more different things that you find, but I also don't panic. A lot of people when they get lost they panic uh, but yeah those are a few pointers i would suggest is put a little marker on a tree or find some way that you can keep track i wouldn't recommend using string <laughs> like the old days uh, unless you have a ton of it but hey eh, there's tons of different ways you could use gps but what if your gps goes down or your phone runs out of juice right so, yeah you gotta watch out for things like that and be prepared. Be prepared for the worst and then you'll be fine. Okay, so we have multiple options. We can go, well, we shouldn't go that mucky route up to there. So we're gonna take this and do the bouncing beam attempt. And um, also keep an eye out for Bigfoot in the videos. Oh, it crud. That kind of sounded like a potential Bigfoot as soon as I said it. But maybe I just scared him. So I try not to snap any trees or knock any trees down because big nature buff. You want to be nice to all the trees and wildlife. And for others, or hundreds or thousands of people to come back here and enjoy it too. Um, yeah, so far it's a very nice trail. This one's Weeding up. Oh, I like that vine. Oh, wow, look at those trees, man. Humongous. Yeah, seems like there's a lot of potential trails here. Might have to be a second day coming back here and checking it out. But right now, wow, it's awesome. Yeah, a little too close to highway, it seems. Oh, that's another potential trail. Uh, all right, well, we might come back to that one. Let's go here first. And keep in mind for this, for this kind of trail, it's a Crownland trail. So there's, that means that it's government owned, but they also don't mark anything. So people came out here, and anybody can come out here and make trails for others to walk on. Keep in mind, there's no marking, so if you get lost, you could be in trouble. But if you pinpoint at least where your car is, for the most part, you'll be totally okay. Because a lot of these places will still have reception. All these people on the highway are going to probably have reception. And of course, they're going to watch the YouTube channel, right? So, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, if you guys aren't subscribed, please consider subscribing and maybe like the video and... Hopefully we'll be able to do this all summer long. And then we'll see if we can do it in the fall. And um, 
We're gonna, like I said, we're gonna get some new content soon once uh, warm weather hits. Um, hope you guys will be excited for that. I know I am. And yeah, we'll just keep adventuring. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I definitely recommend this place, Crown Land Trail. If you guys like going bush way back in the forest where nobody else is, and you can literally just stand here and hear nothing but the highway. But other than that, you see squirrels, little chippies. It's amazing the things. I mean, one of these days, maybe at one of my local trails, we can set up like a trail camp and see what kind of cool little critters are actually there. Because I know during the daytime, like, nothing is out here. And, uh, yeah, that's the best place. The part about these places is most of them aren't mapped. So, yes, the potential of getting lost is higher, but that just means a lot of people aren't going to come here because it's not marked. And uh, that just leaves a lot of opportunity for us adventurers to go and find new places that others have not discovered. So, yeah, just stick along. And uh, maybe today we'll find that banger cell phone sitting out here for some apparent reason. But if we don't, that's fine. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful sunrise, beautiful sunshine, and not cold at all. Nice warm day, so perfect for adventures like this. And maybe there's a Bigfoot out here after all. I don't know, we'll see. But if there is, definitely gonna have to get on tape for bra, because I don't think he believes in Bigfoot. I don't either, but you really start thinking about those things when you're totally out here by yourself. And there's nobody else here at all. But then you question some of the footprints that you see and you're like, hmm, did somebody create those footprints? Or were those actual legitimate footprints? It's a little muddy back here, but nothing compared to some of the other trails like we've been at so far. So big positive. And we're getting somewhat off the highway-ish now. So we, you can hear it a little bit in the background, but it's not near as bad as before where we were directly at the highway. But yeah, absolutely beautiful day. We're trekking back in the woods. Can't wait to go to the next place. But I think today we might actually have to come back to do the other trails because this one seems to be a, a huge one. Might be six kilometers one trail. A lot of ups and downs, but it's perfect for family and perfect for little kids too. And it's peaceful back here. Very, 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 very peaceful. Just wanted to show you guys how close we actually are to the highway. And you can see that cutoff way over there. What's it say? Let's see if we can zoom in. Queen. North Dumfries. I think so. Yeah, either way, it's a beautiful spot. Oh wow, I found something even more unexpected. I found a tree that has a bunch of smiles and ornaments and wow, that's cool. What's this tree called? Be like a tree. Huh. That is so cool. So, so, so cool. So somebody took the time and tried to make this a Christmas tree. That's so awesome. Here we come across another pretty large teepee that somebody started maybe last year. Could be this year. No, it's not as big as the ones we've seen before, but is pretty and trail is getting uh, a little hilly but you have the option to go to another off point that isn't as hilly again none of this is on Google Maps so uh, you're basically on your own but totally okay quite a few people more than I wanted to see out here but it's also good to know that I'm not the only one walking 
still hear the highway but I guess it doesn't matter where you go in this area you're always going to hear the highway but that's okay we're just going to keep plowing away see how far we go today maybe I'll even tell you how many steps we did today because <laughs> I have a feeling it's going to be a lot and that's totally okay we had a nice relaxing two days off one day we were helping the parents with wood chips spent all day it was supposed to be there from 10 till 12 but it was 10 till 9 o'clock at night after dinner of course but yeah and then yesterday was just a nice resting day extra sleep now we're fully rejuvenated to do a lot more of these hikes and i can't wait to bring you guys along so let's keep going hey guys so we found something interesting i think at one point in time these were potentially houses <laughs> had a nice giggle with saw a golden lab and uh, the owner said um, this was a golden lab but now it's a chocolate lab because it hit every single puddle <laughs> <laughs> oh that's great anyways this looks like a definitely was something back in the day maybe it collapsed or I'm not too sure definitely sharp but oh yeah it's got a foundation too so certainly has me curious what it was fortunately there's no plaque or something to read up on it maybe you guys in the comments can let me know if you've ever been on this trail but yeah beautiful place wow I wonder what it was. I'm curious. Maybe you do some research on the downtime. But wow. It was a pretty big place. Wow. Always so curious about those kind of places and trying to see what it was in the past to imagine maybe there was <clears throat> a permit issue. It'd be a way to find it, but yeah, I'm not too sure. Alright guys, this is our bolo of the day. Very pretty looking trail. And we got a keep out sign, but it shows that that's where the orange is. And I don't think on private property so we could continue and it looks like there's a lot of trails so I think we're going to we have no idea how far we walked because our wonderful step counter did not well decided not to turn on today so yeah guys did we find another bolo out here <laughs> a wooden ladder Kind of cool. Close to the highway, but that's all right. That eh, makes you wonder: is people making tree forts back here? Um, yeah, this is definitely off the grid trail. Um, I don't think most people would pass the keep out sign, but again, the keep out sign is on the opposite side where the trail is. So I think we're totally okay. And the fence is right here, so we know we're okay, right? Somebody took the time to put up fencing. So then at least I know where the property line is. But yeah, I don't think many people come back here at all. Uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what we can find. Um, I know it's pretty loud and I apologize with all the traffic. But I'd rather you guys be able to experience this than just me, myself, and I, right? That's the whole name of the game. Inspire you guys to come out and do the same thing. And don't be afraid of a keep out sign as long as you know you're in the right. But beautiful area. So we're heading back now. We haven't seen anybody in probably about an hour-ish. Um, the trail where we were going on is uh, pretty bleak, 
Seems like it ended at uh, a grass field. Yeah, not even a cornfield, a grass field. Which I thought was pretty interesting. How often do you see a grass field? But for us to get across this little creek, I didn't show you on the way here, but um, yeah, it's gonna be a little sketch because that's what we have to go over. And it was easier to get on there, um, but it won't be easy to cross now. But we gotta do it. That is literally the only way that we have. So I'm not bringing you along in case I drop you. Guys, I'm back at this location trying to figure out what it actually is. And I'm so interested. Oh, you almost got it on film again with me falling. Yippee. So we're going to take another route, another trail, to add to our kilometers walked. Which right now it's uh, not keeping track because it's being silly. Um, but yeah, we saw this on the way back. And very curious what it is but I have no idea maybe just a little bit of a tower plank looks cool and then we have this Goliath TV I know I'm six feet tall that's gotta be double my height Close to 12 feet tall. And that's probably about the tenth we saw today, but only filmed two. I think that was enough for the day. But um, yeah, we got a uh, taking this trail and we're trying to build our stamina now so we can last longer on trails. Um, but I'm pretty sure that this is just gonna go back to where we were. So I think we're gonna turn around up at this bend depending where this bend goes. So if it goes left, we're turning around. If it goes right, we'll continue. I have a sneaking suspicion it's gonna go left. Beautiful day, but holy Toledo, we're getting tired. And we got a long ways to go. That's all right. Oh. Oof, feeling it in my legs, feeling it in my feet. Keep out, private property. All right, well, we gotta keep out of this one. But unfortunately, it doesn't go anywhere. And I'm glad it doesn't go like 10 kilometers. And then we find out. But, yeah. Seems like it goes around a little bit, but it's just private property. So you guys just get the views here. And we gotta turn around. We found another said location of, we don't know what it is. And, um, yeah, it's cool. I always wonder what these kind of places are. But back in the woods, all by yourself try to figure out what it is. Maybe there's a blueprint somewhere online you can follow. But, uh, that's okay. We don't find anything. We found a lot of interesting things today. <laughs> if that's anything. To me, it's fantastic. So curious about other things that we're gonna find along the way. That nobody even really knows about unless you walk back here that's the whole point I'm trying to find new places and new experiences new interesting artifacts look at this guys what what is this wow so cool it's so interesting to me what could it be? I don't know. See if we can figure it out. I can't believe we totally missed this on the walk. But that's the best part. You go back and you never know what you missed. 
Wow. Even that ladder. Like, what could this have been? This is exciting, guys. Totally unexpected, unexpected spot. With houses. Or could have been a house back then. But wow. So cool, guys. We had no idea this was here. No idea at all. This is a huge place. Huge place. It looks like somebody had a fire in there at one point. Like a campfire. But, yeah, I wanted to get to here. Like a ladder. Jeez, this is cool. Holy Toledo. Totally unexpected find. Massive place many, many years ago. Oh, looks like a staircase to get down. Wow, if any of you guys have any idea what this could have been. It's a uh, crown trail, so endless ideas. Definitely drop a comment below, because I am so curious. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We are definitely in for a big one this time. Big one what, you say? Mmm. Very, very big, 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 big TV. <laughs> See, I didn't quick bait you. Just showing you the... Wow, somebody spent a lot of time on this one. Humongous. Wow. Beautiful. Get back a little further. Wow, still beautiful, very well made. So I think it's going to be a pretty long video, but appreciate each and every one of you that makes it to the end. And uh, I think we're going to call it a wrap for the end of this video. Wow, okay, another interesting thing first. Yeah, so... How often do you see a big log just hanging in the tree? <laughs> Anyways guys, this is the end of this video and hopefully you guys join me on the next adventure.